<laughs> Thank you. It's been a while. Yeah, things got real busy. Anything special I can send up tonight? No, what I need, I got. Thanks, Henry. like something out of Casablanca. What's it called? There was no name on the door. No name. Sonny, I've been down this street a million times and I never knew this place existed. You and most of poor Charles. So how do they get into business? If you don't know how to get here, you don't belong here. Oh, so it's like a private club. In a way. So how do you qualify for membership? First, you, uh, gotta live long enough. Well, you're not exactly a senior citizen, so I assume when you say live long enough, you mean something other than age. Or shouldn't I assume anything? That would be wise. You love to keep me off balance, don't you? I promise you adventure. Yes, you did. Compliments of the management, uh, Mr. Gordon Post. Oh, excellent choice. You were about to sample the best wine cellar in Port Charles, and that includes your friends, the Quartermain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah. oh. Oysters and cereal. Latini de mortadela. What is that over there? Shrimp stuff with Brazil nuts. I see Carmelo still running the kitchen. Yes, sir. Tell him I brought a special guest. Have him prepare something worthy of the occasion. He knows what I like. Of course, sir. at your feet like your royalty to an evening of adventure mm, blood red who would have thought this all started with the blood transfusion we had a connection long before i had your blood in my veins try an oyster you know what imperial means with russian caviar Sprinkle a little lemon. Elegant, simple, and very sexy. You like it? <laughs> mm. Mm, well, this isn't the outback. Why don't we drink to Max Scorpio's stubbornness? If he'd accept your apology, we'd be there instead of here. Yeah, and he'd be glaring at me all through dinner. Never seen him like that before. Maybe it had nothing to do with you. Maybe he just forgot to pay a tax bill or something. No, he's really mad at me. I just wish he'd let me take all the blame instead of Robin. Why should you? Because I can handle it better. Well, then maybe Robin should handle it. Look, she, she was going to find a way to see Stone, with your help or without it. She <laughs> got caught... That's just the way it goes. No, you don't, you don't understand. Mac is feeling really guilty about Robin lately, I think. I mean, he has so many other things on his mind, trying to marry Felicia, Maxie being sick. See, now, now you're making excuses for him. The way I see it, Robin is ready to grow up. He can't deal with it. No, I'm not sure Robin is ready to deal with it either. You know, she's always been misdependable. I'm used to being the bad girl. Robin isn't. Why let people assume the worst about you? Maybe I enjoy my wicked reputation. Mm. Is that the real reason you're here with me? To shock your friends? Maybe that's the reason why I started seeing you. But that's not why I'm here tonight. Good. Have another oyster. The 
Quartermain would kill for this shot. I wouldn't joke about that here. What, that mousy little man was dangerous? <laughs> Does that turn you on? He looks like somebody's algebra teacher. You want to know who's creepy? That fat, bald guy over there. <laughs> Actually, he's a very nice man. Oh, these are your friends? I didn't say that. But you know them, right? I mean, you do business with them. Come on, Sonny, you can tell me. I mean, isn't that why you brought me here? To impress me with your glamorous gangster lifestyle? No, no, I... I brought you here <clears throat> to buy you an excellent dinner. All we need now is for Al Pacino to walk in the door with the blonde on his arm, and then I'll know this is a movie set. Hey, I'm just teasing. I want some coffee. Although, if they did make a movie of your life, Al Pacino... If you don't want coffee, you want the uh, dessert? Are you angry? This is a game to you, isn't it? Isn't it a game to you most of the time? If you're finished, uh, I'll just take you home, okay? Sonny, what did I do? I'm not a joke, Brenda. I'm not laughing, am I? I don't know, are you? Every time I, I think we're getting to something real, you, you do one of your numbers on me. Number, I, I thought we were having a good time. Why are you suddenly so defensive? Listen, I know what you do is serious. Remember, I'm the girl who held your hand when you almost bled to death from breaking Frank Smith. Brenda, that... shut up. Okay, forget about that, okay? It never happened. For your own good, it never happened. Okay. Sorry. I'm not sure why I'm sorry, but I'm sorry. Hey, I'm not really mad, are you? You're good at this, but it's wearing thin. I'm good at what? The wide-eyed little girl routine, you know? Little Red Riding Hood flirting with the big bad wolf. Is that how you see it? You flirt like crazy. Yeah, I know, but, I, but I'm heading somewhere, are you? Or there's you, a tease all you want, the game. I bet you've been able to manipulate every man in your life, starting when you were two weeks old. Am I right? Is that why you have such a low opinion of men? Well, it doesn't work that way with me. You want respect, you give respect. I do respect you. Prove it. 